Family to the late Adrian Banda of Koku Compound in Lusaka have been left in a shock over the death of their relative who they believe was murdered by police officers at Chilenja Police Station in Lusaka. Father to the deceased Paul Banda has told Kamnet News that his son is believed to have been arrested on 14th October 2021 for criminal trespass, but that the circumstance that led to his death still remain a mystery. <laughs> Sina mpeze. Leni naka nzauti niende kuti kumochari. Pamene nafika uja kumochari. Mpamene na peza uja mtu wali mochari ni wakufa. Sono po wafusa wajia kumochari. Naka mbakuti uyu mtu ana muleta. Nika chilenje polisi. Sono zonzi zimene munga fuse kutimu ziwe muende kuti kuchilenje. So pamene tina enda kuja kuchilenje kuja. Wanati fotokeza utu uyu mtu. Ata ana mpasa mulandu wa traspassing. So choda buisa kuli na nchakuti ngati ni mlandu wa trespassing kudu umafunika upaya. Mr. Banda has since appealed to relevant authorities to help establish how a person who was in a police cell ended up finding himself in a mortuary. Kwa wala la kwa analu sevenza, analu kusevenza kuboloka zi investment kuja kumene hapa nga malata, lumumba lodi. So ni pempa kwa wanda amena alu mvela, maeni jiozi, vena onse mayuma nilaisi. When Tandis Reco Pamandu, Copano Nididi, dear man and Naruda Lila Sinisa. And this reporter and other family members who inspected the body at UTH Mochari found that Mr. Banda had sustained head injuries, which could be seen by the amount of blood that was coming out of the victim's mouth and nose. The, the body identification and the process, there's a process. Taking the papers there, we told them that cleaning of the body it will be done by ourselves as a family. But now the thing which is happening is the postmortem is being done there. They have even cleaned the body. So we are surprised as family members. And according to a docket from the police, Mr. Banda was arrested and detained at Chilenja Police Station on 14th October 2021 for the offense of criminal trespass at a known house. He later on the following day fell sick and was taken to Chilenja Level 1 Hospital where he met his fate. The explanation, however, contradicts with the postmortem result conducted at the University Teaching Hospital, which has indicated that Mr. Banda died from a blunt impact trauma to the head, torso, and extremities. This is an indication that Mr. Banda was indeed injured before his death, which the family members have called for justice. That's why he changed the hospital. They have also denied to be part and parcel of that allegation that they is under hospital. So, so after 24 hours, he's not part of the hospital. It's policy case. You have brought the body who's already dead. So the family are a little confused. Let the IG Kajova explain to us and convince us. And I'm appealing to the government. The police commanding officers in charge that Chilenje police, they have, there are some officers who have stayed there for more than five, seven ten years, years. Ten years. But why keeping such police officers? Are they family? That is not a family a thing. And police spokesperson Ray Hamonga, when contacted for a comment, told this reporter that he will get back to her once investigations are concluded. Prudence Chota, reporting for Community TV News.